I often talk in these videos of the um, of the weight of these adventure touring bikes and, in terms of what you what you just can't leave out and uh, it just sets up quite a quite a good deal of weight so I'll just give you some idea of the kind of things that I'm carrying um, obviously bike two pennies front two pennies back handlebar bag with um, usually just food varying sorts of food for the the trip during the day. I'm just packing up now to get going. So <clears throat> mostly what you got there is bags of um, bags of food, wet weather gear, medical supplies, eating plates, basic bare minimum plates, cooking plates, etc. That pink bag is uh, tech gear, chargers, chargers for um, USB charging, flashlight, tail lights, spare um, iPhone charging things, spare battery packs, wet weather gear, sleeping bag, and just various uh, wet weather gear. Uh, obviously tent and assorted warm weather gear, maps, sleeping gear, etc. So that pole down there that pole down there, you've, you've probably been following the exploits of the exploits of my broken um, sin stand. And for, for a couple of days here, I used I used uh, the, the femur bone of a dead kangaroo. It sounds ridiculous, but it did the job fine until I came across someone. Someone's crayfish and gidgee had fallen off their trailer, and this is a a fiberglass pole of course with aluminium fittings in the end so I just dismantled it. The things that I didn't need and this fits perfectly in the side of the bike, it's very lightweight and props up the bike perfectly. It also doubles up as a, as a security device against uh, unwanted animal visitors during the night or heaven forbid something more sinister like a negative interaction with a human being, God forbid. Anyway it's a, it's a very useful tool. So that's just a quick rundown of um, with some of the kit that um, I carry. Catch you later.